Okay, uh, question number four from um, M1, June 2016, IAL. Um, we'll start with 4A. A di diving board AB consists of a wooden plank of length 4 meters and mass 30 kilograms. The plank is held at rest in a horizontal position by two supports at A and C. Okay, so uh, those are the supports. I don't like that. I don't like the way they've drawn this. I'm going to do my own little thing here. I like to draw the supports that look like a triangle kind of thing. That's one support. The other support is is there, so it's upside down. So I'll just copy this. Okay, turn it upside down. There, that's the support. Okay, so this support is up here. And this support is down here. Okay, yeah, that's how it is. Um, so therefore, there's going to be a force acting down from here due to that support. Reaction at A and reaction at C. So you've got RA and RC. Okay, um, we don't know the uh, about the central mass yet. One second. Yes, so where AC is 0 0.6 meters as shown in figure 1. The force on the plank acts vertically downwards and the force on the plank at C acts upwards. Okay, as we've shown. A diver of mass 50 kilograms is standing at the board at the end B. So if he's standing at the end A, B, then his weight's going to be acting down. And his mass, 50 kilograms. So that's going to be 50 G newtons. The diver is modeled as a particle and the plank is modeled as a uniform rod. Okay, so uniform rod. So the weight, okay, of the the weight of the plank will act exactly in its geometric center, exactly two meters from each end, halfway its geometric center. And its mass is 30 kilograms, so that's 30 G newtons. Okay, so those are all the forces. This is like the, the man standing there. Okay, this is the weight. This is the reaction at C, reaction at A. And we know the plank is in equilibrium. And we've got to find the magnitude of the force acting on the plank at A. So we're going to find this. Okay, now, if it's in equilibrium, there's two things that we know. If it's in equilibrium, one is that all the forces balance each other out. So the for upward forces and downward forces are balanced. They're equal to each other. So RC will be the sum of RA plus 30G plus 50G. Okay? And the other thing we know is that wherever we take moments about, from any point that we take moments, okay, the clockwise moments and the anticlockwise moments will balance each other out. They'll be exactly the same. Okay, so it won't be turning. There'll be no turning effect. Okay, they're all cancelled out. So if you want to find the magnitude of the force acting on the plank at A, which is the reaction at A, then what we can do is, you see, we, we, we know the other two forces, but we don't know our, the reaction force at C. We don't know what it is. So if we take moments about C, if we choose the point C to take moments about, we will eliminate this force from C because remember, the moment is a force times the distance away from the pivot. If we take the pivot at C, the distance from the pivot is zero, and RC times zero will give you zero, and you're left with only one unknown, which is RA. So that's how to deal with this type of question. Okay, you have two forces that we don't know. Uh, it's in equilibrium, so we can take moments about one of those forces to find the one that we need to find. Okay, so I'll I'll show the steps up here and then copy it down because we can see what we're doing here. If I take moments um, in the clockwise direction about C. Okay, if I take moments about C, about the point C. Now, we've got clockwise moments, which will be um, the 30G and the 50G. So you have 30G times, well, we're going to know this distance. Okay, now, because um, it's in the geometric center, okay, then that distance here, okay, that's two meters all the way from one end to the other. That will be two meters. Okay, so you have your two meters there. Okay, that's two meters. And that's two meters minus 0 0.6 meters, which is 1.4 meters. Okay, so you have 30 G, okay, times, um, if we're taking a moment about C, that's going to be um, 1.4 meters. So 30 G times 1.4, that will tell you the moment of um, the 30 gram, the weight, 30, not 30 gram, 30, um, 30 G, the moment of the 30 G weight of the plank with C is a pivot. Okay, that's clockwise. The other clockwise one is 50 G 
times well the distance between C and B is basically 4 minus 0 0.6 which is 3.4 now that's exactly balanced by the anti-clockwise moments which is RA times 0 0.6 we've got RA which we have to find times 0 0.6 okay so that's an equation which we can use to solve our problem let me just take this with me down there Sorry, let me just do it this way. I'll just cut and paste it. Put it right over here. Okay, so that's moments about C. So now let's calculate what that gives us. Okay, so we have here, whoops, I just closed it by mistake. Okay, so we have here 30 30G times 1.5. Let's just work out what it is. 30 times 9.8, that's 30G, times 1.4. That gives me 411.6. Uh, 411.6 four plus 50G times 3.4. Plus, okay, we've got 50G, 50 times 9.8 times 3.4. That gives me 1,666. And that's equal to 0.6 times our, our reaction at A. So therefore, the reaction at A, sorry, the reaction at A, is going to be the sum of those divided by 0 0.6. So you have plus 411.6, okay, divided by 0 0.6. That gives you 3462. 3462.7. Okay, so that to 3SF will be 3500. Oh, sorry, 3SF will be 3,460. That's, that's better. 2SF you can use because we used R or G, but it's just I prefer to use this in terms of um, 3SF. Okay, so that's part one, the magnitude of the force acting at the, on the plank at A. And now we've got to find the magnitude of the force acting on the plank at C. Now we could do the same thing. We could, we could take moments about A this time, and then we can find what the reaction at C is. Okay, we could do that if we wanted to. Or we could just use something even simpler that we know that the upward and downward force is balanced out. So RC must be the sum of all the other forces. So RC is going to be RA. So this is part one. Okay, there's the answer. And part two, you know that RA, which is the force acting upwards, is this equal to all the forces acting downwards. Which is going to be um, 30G plus 50G. Okay. So, um, we want to find RC, so RC is equal to RA plus 50G plus 30G. Okay, sorry, RC is equal to RA plus 50G plus 30G. Okay, so RC is going to be 3, f let's write it in this more accurate form first, 3462.7 plus 80G. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. Okay, plus 80 times 9.8, which gives us 4,246, 4,250 to 3SF. Okay, that's RC and that's RA. Okay, that's the answer to part B here, B, B part 2. Okay, I'll do the next uh, next question in the next video.